Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Research Lesson 4 Linear Programming Problem Graphical Solution. Previously, we have discussed about how to formulate the linear programming problem from the real problem and we have also discussed the steps. Today, we are going to discuss about how to solve linear programming problem using graphical solution. Thus, the objective of this lesson is to solve the linear programming problem using graphical method. A linear programming problem can be solved by multiple methods. One of the methods which is used to solve the linear programming problem is graphical method. By the way, graphical method is used to solve a linear program when the decision variables are two. If the decision variables are only two, we can solve with graphical method. If not, if there are more than two decision variables, so we can go for another method like simplex method. So you have to keep in mind that in order to find out the solution for the linear programming problem using graphical method, the decision variables should be only two. Coming to the steps of graphical solution, the first step is to change the inequality to equality. As you know, the constraints are expressed with inequality. So those the constraint equations should be converted into equality. This is the first step. And the second step is plot the non-negativity constraints. The non-negativity constraint is just all the decision variables are greater than or equal to zero. And the third step is find the x and y intercept of each constraint equation. We have to find out the x and y intercept by making one zero and finding the remaining. For example, if we make x zero and we have to find out the y. And if we make y zero, we have to find out the x. So we can find the x and y intercept of each constraint in the equation. And the fourth step is plot the constraints on x, y plane by connecting x and y intercept. So after finding the intercept, we have to plot here. And the fifth step is identify the feasible solution space. By the way, a feasible solution means a solution which can only satisfy the constraint equations. And the sixth step is find all the corner points of the feasible solution space. We have to find out, we have to calculate all the corner points of the feasible solution space here. And the last step is among the corner points that we have calculated in step six, the one that optimizes the objective function is optimal solution. By the way, optimal solution is different from feasible solution. As I said before, feasible solution only satisfies or fulfills the constraint equation, whereas optimum solution satisfies the constraints at the same time optimize the objective functions. That means if it is minimization, the optimum solution can make the minimum possible, the minimum possible value of the z if it is maximization, the optimum solution can make the objective function to be the maximum, the maximum. Let's proceed to do examples. Find the optimum solution for the following linear programming using graphical method. As you see, it is maximization z equals 60x plus 50y subject to the constraint is 4x plus 10y less than or equal to 100 hours, which is an assembly time. We have an assembly time of 100 hours and the second constraint is 2x plus y less than or equal to 22 hours, which is an inspection time. And the third one is 3x plus 3y less than or equal to 39 meter cube, which is a storage space. And both x and y should be greater than or equal to zero, that is the non-negativity restrictions. So using the first step, as we have discussed before, we have to convert 
we have to convert the inequality to equality. So we have to convert the less than or equal to in each constraint is into equality. That is equal to. This is the first step. And the second step is plot the non-negativity constraints. In XY plane, as you know, there are four quadrants, four quadrants. So from those quadrants, the first quadrant that makes both X and Y to be positive. This is the non-negativity constraints, or we can say area of visibility, area of visibility. And the next step is find the intercepts for the constraints. To find out the intercepts, we have to make x0 and find the value of y, and we have to make y0 and find the value of x. As you see, when we make x0, so 4 times 0 is 0, plus 10y equals 100, so 10y equals 100, and when we divide by 10y with 10 and 100 with 10, so y equals 10. And when we make y 0, 4x plus 10 times 0 equals 100, so 4x equals 100, divided by 4, divided by 4, both sides, x equals 25 x equals 25. So the next step is follow the constraints by connecting the intercepts. We have to put these two intercepts, 0, 10, and 25, 0. At two points, then we have to connect with the line. This is an assembly time constraint. This is an assembly time constraint. And here is the feasible region, the feasible region for assembly time because this is less than or equal to. The sign is less than or equal to. Since it is less than or equal to, we have to, here it is less than or equal to, so we have to shed, we have to shed the region which is below the line, the region which is below the line. If it is greater than or equal to, we have to shed above the line, we have to shed above the line. Since it is less than or equal to, we have to shed the region which is below the line. As we have done in the previous slide, in assembly time, we have to repeat for the remaining constraints, that is inspection time and storage space. So, to find out the intercepts for the inspection time, we have to make x0 and we have to calculate for y, that is 22. And we have to make y 0, and we have to find out x value, that is 11. So we have to plot this on x, y axis and connect these intercepts. So this is the graph for inspection time, and its feasibility region is shaded, which is found below the graph, which is found below the graph. So this is the region, this is the region, the feasible region for the inspection time because it is less than or equal to. Because it is less than or equal to, we have to shed below the curve, below the curve or below the line. And now we have to repeat this same step to find the intercept or to find the graph for the storage space. So first we have to find out the intercept by making x equals 0, we have to find out y that is 13. And when we make y 0, and we, we have to calculate for x that is 13. And plotting these points on x, y plane and connect with the line. So this is the storage space. And its feasible region is found below the line because it is less than or equal to. Because it is less than or equal to. Here is a feasible story for storage space. And when we put all these graphs on one xy plane, when we put all these three graphs, that is the storage space, the assembly time, and the inspection time on one xy plane, it looks like it looks like this. Look, 
it looks like this as you see these are the three curves for storage for us for assembly and this is for inspection time for inspection so when we put on the same xy plane it becomes it become look like this and the feasible region is the region of intersection which is found below all the curves as you see this is the feasible solution space for all the three constraints the assembly time the inspection time and the storage space as i said before feasible solution is a solution that can fulfill that can satisfy the constraints that can satisfy all the constraints and the next step is to find the corner points of the feasible solution space so as you see here is the feasible solution space and we have to find these corner points this corner point we have one two three four five corner points so we have to find out these corner points so to find out these corner points as you see the first corner point is the origin so both x and y are zero and zero and the second corner point is the intersection of the red line sorry the intercept of red line the intercept of red line so x is zero at that point and y is 10 y is 10 and the third and the fourth points are calculated using simultaneous equation because they are found at a point of intersection between the two lines the third corner is found on the intersection point of red line and blue line red line is this one and blue line is this one so since it is found in the intersection we have to find out we have to find out this corner point three by equating by equating the equation of the blue line y equals minus x plus 13 and red line that is y equals minus minus 0 0.4 x plus 10 so when equate when we equate this x become 5 and y become 8 and the next is corner point 4 which is the intersection between yellow line and blue line since corner point 4 is the intersection between blue line y equals minus x plus 13 and yellow line y equals minus 2x minus 2x plus 22 so equating them we can get we get x equals 9 and y equals 4 and the last corner is the intercept of yellow line that is 11 and 0 so we have already calculated we have already got all the corner points of the feasible solution space then after the last step is determine the corner point that can maximize the z because of our problem is maximization because our problem is maximization here we have to find out the corner points that can maximize that can maximize our z value our z value so let's check all the corner points by replacing on x and y when we replace when we check corner one that is origin zero zero so our z value will be zero when we check corner point two that is zero ten we get 500 when we substitute five and eight that is corner three we get 700 and when we replace corner four nine four we get 740 and when we substitute 11 and 0 we get 660 as you see from 
these five corners, the corner that can maximize our objective function is corner four. That brings our objective function to be 740. So corner four is an optimal solution. Corner four that makes our objective function to be maximum is our optimum, our optimum solution, our optimum solution. So the corner that maximizes z is 4, 9, 4, such that z equals 740. So our optimum solution is corner 4, that is x equals 9 and y equals 4. This is all about solving the linear programming problem using graphical method. We will meet with another lesson next time. Till then, have a good time. Bye. Thank you.